Good morning, good morning, you guys. Welcome to Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia, and if you enjoy the content, stay tuned for more. So today, I feel like messing with my shit hit the fan van. Um, not too much to clean up because there's not a lot in there. But... I feel like maybe I should like fold everything up, put my back seats up. I don't know. Because having the the bed does doesn't give me any room for the middle row seats. Not that I really need the row the middle row seats, but when I go grocery shopping or um I move stuff around. I don't want to set whatever groceries or whatever I have on my bed. I'd rather set them in the middle where it's a bit more easily accessible from the, the big side doors. And I just plop them on top of my middle row seats. But having that bed there on the one side anyway, it just it doesn't give me any room to kind of stretch out. So I'm going to go and video a little bit for you guys and show you what I'm talking about and see if I just kind of fold it down I don't know we'll see I just feel like playing with my my van with my shit hit the fan van and I'm gonna bring you along with me yeah anyway how cute is this it says grandma I'm officially a grandma I can't even believe that but I am and then I like to keep these smart bottles the smart water bottles they are a quart each so I like to have a couple of those and I just clean them out and keep reusing them. That's what I do. I like to have these because I have water filters that fit this top part very well from like a, a little ditch or river or whatever. And then I plop my water filters up here and then I can just pour it in something else or just drink from, from the top of it. But I think these are very handy. They are lightweight and they have the perfect size here for a cup holder and they're very tall versus like the the very small water bottles and these are these are pretty durable actually versus some of the the other kind of water bottles but mostly it's just because this top fits perfectly plus just the the size is slender tall slender I like them so I don't know about you guys but they work great for the the Sawyer water filters all right y'all So this is the part that I'm talking about. I just like pushed it as far back as I could, but I push it as far back and it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't like doing that. You can't really sit up here. Let me zoom out. You can't really sit here, put your legs there versus like that right there. You can actually sit and <laughs> I had my window down. So these things flew everywhere. These window covers that I still haven't finished. I need to put the fabric on there. Yeah, just showing you what I got. And so yeah, I like to keep these in here. Normally I will fill them up, but I don't know. I'll put them in the cup holders back here, one on either side. Usually when they're full. Sometimes I just leave them like that and I just carry the, the big gallon jugs. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, let's go to the other side. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. this before yeah so this is what it looks like after my road trip my camping at the what do you call it at the airport so these little clips work really well to just kind of stuff in here and they're the the tiniest ones and like this this part right here like barely goes in there but I have that So normally what I've been doing is just kind of slide them here where like the table meets that. I don't know if I need to let this vent, but why would it look like that if you didn't need to vent it, right? So I just, I don't know. I think about that. Things that make you go, hmm. Hold on a sec. I need two hands. So yeah, I got this to clean up, you guys. It's 
I still have the Reflectix, an empty gallon jug there, the actual uh, fabric that I need to glue or sew or whatever to these things right here. I've got a little bit of a kitchenette going here. Yeah, this this will be my project for for today. I will show you when I'm done. All right, so this is what I accomplished. You can now sit in the middle row seats. I have three seats there. I ended up folding and separating the trifold from the topper. So that sits in the very back seat. And now what I have in the trunk is everything else. My kitchenette, the small blue eddy battery, more Reflectix. Um, yeah, I still have to organize, but it's supposed to be a very cold night. So I took my sleeping bag and pillows inside the RV. But let me show you what it looks like from this angle. I can now sit three people there, plus two in the front. And I kind of swept it. I don't have a vacuum, but it looks pretty good. Even though that looks kind of weird, but hey, if it works, it works. Now if I have passengers, they got plenty of leg room and go on a day trip or whatever and not have to worry about all the the stuff that I had there because you couldn't really sit anybody in the middle but yeah I can either lay that down and take the middle middle row seat out of there and have cup holders but I just usually leave it and that's what it looks like guys thanks for watching